Welcome back. U.S. Senator John Ossoff says this year's federal funding package has dedicated a million dollars to Baldwin County to help upgrade one of their industrial parks. Cecily Stout visited Silby Smith Industrial Park to hear how the money will be used and why the county reached out for federal assistance. It's time to to have a place to attract, you know, industries and that would ultimately create more jobs. The community definitely could benefit from that. Haley Hicks is working with Baldwin County to apply for grants. She helped write to U.S. Senator John Ossoff's office about why Baldwin County needs the money. Based on all the job losses that have occurred in Baldwin County and Milledgeville over the years, and um, we thought we had a really strong case. Some of those losses include the reduction of Central State Hospital closing several buildings and remanufacturing closing in 2009, leaving 1,200 people without jobs and the county without federal funding, according to the Executive Director of Development Authority, Jonathan Jackson. What we realized was that over the years, the federal government have, has given us a lot of subtractions and now they have the ability to give us an addition. A $1.1 million addition to upgrade the water and sewer system at the newest industrial park, Silby Smith Industrial Park. The county bought 1,500 acres for nearly $4 million in 2016 after it was added to the SPLOST. Jackson says voters approved it by a 70% margin. It was a clear mandate to buy the property and it was a clear mandate to develop it for economic development purposes. And so from there, we knew that we had to do it. Jackson says it wasn't just the 1,500 acres that caught their eye. It was the access to railroad service inside the park. It's right along the side of the property and access to that is what most companies are looking for when they're trying to find a large site for their uh, new company. Jackson says the plan is to focus on bringing manufacturing companies and distribution centers. Their master plan currently maps out 11 different builds on the land. County Attorney Carlos Tobar says this project will help get Baldwin County back to where it was. There's nothing quite like having uh, a place to go to work right there in your own community and that's what we used to have and that's what we're trying to get back to. In Baldwin County, Cecily Stout, 13 WMAZ News. Development Authority says they want to begin construction later this year. They're starting to show the site to companies interested in locating there.